is we we accept the vote as long as it's in our favour. If there's then a vote that, for example, said remain on the terms, then that would spawn a third referendum. It would not bring to an end this problem. We are a nation utterly obsessed with Brexit. We were told as a nation that the referendum would resolve whether we stayed or went. And that hasn't changed, basically. David's absolutely right when he says it's an absolutely critical issue. But we are wrong to say because we didn't like the result. But Let's go back to the people. But, but, but and what's, but, but, just one more point, one more point. You're all so, uh, and I think both you and David are in danger of this position, that because you're asking for a second vote because you didn't like the result of the first one, people distrust what you say. They may do. But, about, but, what, about what the consequences are. But listen, Charlie, your friend and my friend, Keir Starmer, has set yeah. out six tests for Labour. They're not being met. They're not going to be met. See, your position basically is that whatever happens, we have to leave the European Union on whatever terms are put before us. That no, is absurd. I th- no, I think it's for Parliament to force the government, which it can do, to get the best terms that are available. I accept the terms will be worse than our current position in so trading. So we accept that? We have to accept that, yeah. So we have to accept we're but going that's to be because that's a, that's a consequence of the dem- democratic vote. What you are saying, Alistair, is I'm sorry, you're just like Ted Knight in the 1980s. Oh no, God, compro- first I've had that. no compromise with the yeah, electorate. But the-